Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is July 6th, and we are going to take a look at uh, Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal with this video is that you learn how to do technical analysis yourself and that you can rely on yourself to make your own decisions. This is very important. So Tesla closed down today, uh, down $19.60, almost 3%. At 6:59:30, post market. Uh, my post market numbers have been all over the place. So, right now I see 6:82:30. Uh, I don't know if I can trust this. So, uh, what does this uh, look like on the chart? So basically, uh, well, we have a big red candle today. So uh, we start our, we opened at 6:81 which was basically right smack into our channel. So we were into a channel between 667 and 694. So the stock had been trading in that channel since it broke out here. It broke out on uh, July 24th. It broke out of the big resistance that we have had since uh, January in Tesla. So uh, the stock was staying in this congestion zone and uh, well, uh, we thought that uh, the stock would be just waiting there until it would jump higher because uh, all of the news are good so far with Tesla. But no, this is not what has uh, happened. Um, so what happened is that we have a red candle and uh, look at this the body of the candle touched the resistance uh, so maybe at 660 659.56 so we touched at the resistance and we even went lower we went lower our resistance and came back up uh, during the day one thing to note is that uh, we had a gap here so uh, on uh, june 23rd so the stock did the green candle and the next day on the 24th, we have this gap here. So there were no transaction between the last transaction on June 23rd and the first transaction on uh, June 24th. So this is called a gap. So this happens when a stock goes high super, super fast. And uh, one rule of technical analysis says that when there's a gap that is made, the stock needs to fill that gap up at some point it doesn't need to be soon it can be a lot later but the stock needs to fill that gap as if nobody had the chance to purchase or sell tesla between those two price between the uh, high of the day of the 23rd and the low of the day of the 24th this is what technical analysis says so what happened today well, it looks like we filled the gap. So if I draw a line right on top of this candle here, look at this, uh, we almost perfectly filled that gap. So uh, the theory is that uh, filling the gap, basically uh, the uh, gap or the top of the previous candle acts as a support. So, uh, so, prob so probably what is going to happen is that after having filled the gap, the stock is going to resume. So we'll see if that ha if that happens. So our 667, uh, which was support, uh, becomes a resistance to cross at some point. So our our new support. I'm going to give you the exact number. So our new support uh, is. Uh, 657 so I'm going to write it down 657 is our new support and this is going to be green let's take a look come on come on come on green that's not this hard it's not that hard okay thank you so uh, let's go to the hour chart to see uh, in more details what uh, exactly happened during the day Okay, wow, look at this. I like seeing this. So basically during the first hour, we opened here, then we went smack down right on the resistance. Cannot make this up, you know, look at this, boom, right on the resistance. Then we bounced up a little bit, then crossed the resistance down, 
then uh, decided to go sideways. Uh, sorry, I'm in support. And then we uh, went sideways. And then we, at 1.30, we, uh, we closed on support. And then the next hour, we were a little bit higher and still even higher. So uh, seeing this, seeing this little bounce is giving me a hope that uh, this uh, this is really acting as support. So so this previous resistance is really acting as support. And I hope that uh, the stock is going to go higher or at least uh, horizontal uh, tomorrow. Let's look at what happened with our indicators. So stochastic is now at 65. So yes, of course, it was impacted. So um, just a little note here. Um, you can you can use stochastic as a way to get out of a trade because stochastic is so is so precise and so uh, reactive to what is happening with the stock. Uh, this is an interesting way of uh, getting out of the stock. So you could have a strategy where you enter a stock when the MACD is crushing bullish like uh, here. So you could have bought Tesla with that strategy on May 25th. Then it would have gone down a little bit. Then it would have shot up higher. And then you could have sold if your strategy would have been well, I am selling when stochastic crosses down uh, below 80 after having been above 80. So if you have had that as a strategy, you would have bought at 624 and you would have sold at uh, 659 profit. So what you need to do for yourselves is find your own strategies based on either the lines that I'm drawing or the indicators that I have here or other indicators that you like. That was just a side note. This is a free advice. So, uh, so stochastic a little bit down, MACD uh, a little bit down, but we are still, uh, we still have these two uh, green thumbs and the DMI. The two lines are getting closer a little bit, but we are still in good position because remember, uh, Tesla was at uh, 624 not too long ago. And uh, so far it's only at 659. So, so there is still profit there. And it seems like we are going to rebound on the support. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting. I read all of your comments. If you subscribe, I publish a Tesla and Palantir technical analysis video every single weekday. And also a recap weekly video on the weekend. We have a Patreon uh, account. If you care to uh, give me some encouragement uh, financially, we have a Discord server if you want to discuss with other like-minded people. And we have a TradingView affiliate link if you so desire to get a um, what's it called the uh, paid plan for trading view which is a good tool I don't I don't know of a better tool I use this uh, myself every single day so I wish you a great evening we are going to talk tomorrow and I'm gonna tell you à la prochaine